good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys, we are going to start. This is our lesson number seven. The topic that we are going to study for today's class is related to equations. And the main um, goal for this class is this that you will be able to introduce yourself and another staff member using WH equations in the simple present using the auxiliary do or does, right? So this is the first, this is what we want to get during the whole class. And I'm sure that we, will do it okay i have this for you we are going to read this right and the main purpose of doing is of doing it it is because we need to practice certain sounds and the sound to practice there are two different sounds that we are going to practice the first one is this and the second one is this. Give me just a second, please. Okay. I was telling you that we are going to practice two different sounds. And the first sound is sh. This is sound one. And sound two is sh. So we have two. Let me see. Two different sounds. Okay. The first one. Shh. Do you understand? Do you understand? Hello, are you here? Yes. Yes, here. here. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm emphasizing the two different sounds that we have in here, right? Yeah. Because sometimes we um, confuse or we cannot pronounce in the uh, correct way these two sounds, right? Because they are, we think that they are very alike, but they are not. The sounds are different. And also, if you observe my mouth, I have two different movements with my mouth. And then I say, shh, front. My lips are front. And then I do the opposite. Shh, shh. You see? Now I'm going to read it. I'm going to say, she sells sea shells by the sea shore. The shells she sells by the sea shore are seashore shells. Repeating. She, she Shells, shells, sea, 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 shells, by the seashore, 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 no, seashore, 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 Seashore. 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 That's it. The shells. <coughs> the shells. She sells. Sells. She sells sell by the by seashore. The by, by the seashore, seashore. Are, are, are seashore cells. Seashore cells. Seashore cells. Seashore cells. Shells. 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 Seashore shells. Seashore shells. <clears throat> okay. And now we are going to read it, but we need to do it a little bit faster. And now this is what we have to have. She sells seashells by the seashores. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shells. She sells seashells by the seashores. Seashore. 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 Sea. Seashore. Mm -hmm. Seashore. She sells sea shell by the seashore. Okay. <clears throat> Aquí le está dando problemas. ¿Por qué está sí. pronunciando seashore? Seashore. 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 That's it. Again. She sell sea shell by the seashore. Okay. Este es sea. <clears throat> sí. Sea, no sea, sea. Sí. Sí. Al igual que acá, sí. Sí. sea. Sea. Sea shells by the seashore. Uh -huh. Continue. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shells. Okay. Seashore. Seashore. <laughs> okay. Good. This is what we need to do in this moment. We need to practice to make it 
podcaster. Okay, I would like to listen to different volunteers. Volunteers? Okay, Osvaldo, first. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shells. Very good. Very good. Solamente nos falta do it a little bit faster. Pero está bien la pronunciación. Okay? Good. Another volunteer. Oh, come on. We don't have more volunteers. He sells sea shells by the sea shark. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shell, shells. Shells. <laughs> shells. Okay. Shells. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, sometimes este sh también lo pronunciamos como que si fuera este. Y este es ch, ch, ch. No es shells. It is shells. Arrastrado. Ok. Shells. Ok. Now one more volunteer. Thank you, lady. Me. She sells sea shells by the seashore. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shells. That's it. Very good. Okay, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, okay. Elsie, okay. thank you. And then Rosie. Okay, first okay. Elsie and then Rosie. Okay. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells by the seashore are seashore shells. That's it. Thank you, Elsie. Now, Rosie. She sells the shells by the seashore. The shells she sells by the seashore are the seashore shells. Ok, very good. Solo nos faltó esto. La plural, la third person en plural form. Shells, no, cells, shells. Ok, esta segunda nos faltó enfatizar, ok. La última, la última de esas palabras. But good. Thank you, Rosie. And the last volunteer. Who is the last volunteer? Thank you very much, Rene. Rene Alexi Caballero. Rene Alexi Caballero, ausente. Okay, ausente. Uh, so let us listen to Kerin Escobar. Dear teacher. Okay, Kerin. Okay, vamos a ver. <laughs> um, Try. Espera, le voy a dar más, más asunto. Okay. Serían... Chisil, si chills, be the, be the chills, sir, the chills, chisil, by the chis, chis, top, are chis, chis, chor, chills. Ok. Cuénteme ahora. Cuénteme, ayúdeme a mejorar. Ok. Ok. The combination of the SH lo vamos a pronunciar como sh. Ok. Ok. Ese sonido va a producir. Sí, así. Sí. Sí, sí. Sí. 
y donde está solo sí. la S va a sonar como mm. S y vamos a decir sells. 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 Sí. Sí. Shells. Este se pronuncia buy. Ok. Seashore. 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 Shells. Shells. She. She. Sells. Sells. Buy. Buy. The seashore. The seashells. Are. Are. Seashore shells. Seashore shells. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ahora vuelva a hacer usted solo. <laughs> she sell. She sell by the. She she seashore. Uh -huh. The she. The sell she sells by the she are seashore shells. Okay, se comió el seashore anterior, pero está bien, okay? okay. Good, good try. Good try. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Where are we practicing this? This is called a tongue twister. This is a tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. What is a tongue twister? Trabalenguas? That's it. This is a tongue twister. Yes, it is for you to practice sounds, pronunciation, right? And this tongue twister has a topic that we are going to study for today. And this is simple present tense. Simple present tense. Whenever we say sells and the verb it is in third person singular as you can see here letter S we are talking about the third person singular and it only happens in simple present when we have letter S in the verb right? That is not plural that is third person singular. But I know that you have already studied this. However, we have to practice a little bit more about this. Now let's keep going. And in our books, we will find out this um, conversation. In this conversation, we are going to have different information and of course we are going to um we are going to study this conversation part by part let's see in the first part we have for example the introduction okay you introduce here Right, you say hello, good morning, there's this, nice to meet you. He's this is Mario, and not the introduction. I'm going to emphasize the pronunciation, don't worry. But later in the second part, we start like a following ideas because we need to talk, we need to um interchange information that it is important for the context. If we are talking about our job, we understand that um, we need to interchange maybe your ideas or uh, your plans to another person. But before doing it, you need to talk. You need to get along with that person because you need to know her or you need to know him a little bit more. But what about if you have to talk about your job? 
Well, the vocabulary has to be related to your job. And that is why we have here more questions. I have this question. What do you do? What does the girl over there do? I have two questions. And I need to understand these two questions because they are going to help me, help me to give information that the other person needs. Right? Now I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to say, Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce Steph. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. Great. Mm, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in church of purchases. Purchases. Did you follow the meaning of the conversation? Okay, first they introduce. Then they need more information about the staff. Right? Now let us see. Let us um just listen to two of you reading. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, Jessica. Jessica Carolina? Yes. Okay, you are Miss Tate. Okay. Okay. Jose Adilson? Here. You are Mr. John. Perfect. Okay. okay. Kenya, Stephanie? Yes. You are Mario. Okay. And Lucia Veronica? Present. You are Leo. Leo. Okay. Okay? Yes. Read the conversation, please. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss State. Um, the trainer? Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Tati. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. She, she is the barge manager. And this he this his Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meet meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the Herald over there do? She's, she's Nisa. She is in charge of the purchases. 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 Okay. 
Thank you very much to all of you. And then I'm going to ask, for example, Mateo de Jesus. Present. Okay, Matthew, you are, oops, you are Mr. John. Okay. Moses. Uh, yes, teacher. You are Mario. Yeah. And um, Wilmer. Present teacher. Okay, Wilmer, you are Leo. And Jose Adil, Jose Adilson, levantó la mano? No? Okay. And uh, uh, Miss Tate is going to be, let me see. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, one lady. One lady. Valeria Michel. Yes. Okay, Valerie, you are Miss Tate. Okay. Okay. Okay, ya que tienen sus roles, you can start reading. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Uh, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. Perdón, nice to meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am a charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? Yes, she's Nisa. She's in church of purchases. Okay, thank you very much. Now we are going to talk, we are going to study the grammar, like the grammar structures about what it has, the conversation. We have here this difference. For example, we have the word personal and also we have the word staff. Personal and staff. How do we use them? Are they the same? Okay. We use personal with plural verbs. For example, all personnel are trained to provide first aid. These personnel at the plant are certified. ¿Qué quiere decir? That the word personnel, it is going to be used as plural. Right? All personnel are trained. The personnel at the plant are certified. If I am using are, es que estoy conjugando el verbo, tomando en cuenta que el sujeto is plural. Right? The personnel is plural. And then I'm going to say the personnel at the plant are certified or all personnel are trained to provide first aid. Plural. Personnel. But then we have the word staff. The word staff, it is a little bit different because you can use the word 
as in singular, third person singular, or if it is in plural, plural form. For example, the staff work or works 40 hours a week. I, I can understand que si uso work, estoy, estoy utilizando esto como singular o como plural. Singular. Singular. Singular o plural. Si utilizo work. Singular, teacher. Okay. It is plural. If I say works, lo estoy utilizando como la palabra staff, lo estoy utilizando como singular o plural. Es lo opuesto singular. de lo que usted piensa. Singular. That is singular. Yes. Because su cerebro está entendiendo que con S es plural y sin S es singular. Es al contrario. Ok. ¿Por qué es, es lo contrario? ¿Por qué? Porque. Ajá. Tell me. Because third person se utiliza, se le agrega los verbos, la S. Ok. Ok. Y, y the staff es third person. That's it. Lo que sucede es que sometimes we misunderstand a dónde es que se considera la pluralidad. La pluralidad depende o la singularidad depende del sustantivo. Staff is the noun. El problema es que lo puedo utilizar como singular o como plural. La yeah. palabra staff se mantiene tal cual, pero sometimes you need to understand that it is plural or you need to understand that it is plural. For example, when I say the staff work, estoy hablando de todos. Mm -hmm. Todos los trabajadores, tra um, todos los empleados trabajan 40 horas. Yeah. Todos los empleados. Pero si yo digo works, es entonces él. It is one. El empleado trabaja 40 horas. Yes. Right? That is what it says. Pero ya lo vamos a ir a, a, a desglosar in the grammar structure. Don't worry. Y lo mismo sucede con esto. Our kitchen staff. Aquí vuelve la palabra staff. Follow or follows the Ministry of Health Regulations. Las dos opciones son correctas. Pero usted tiene que saber el uso de cualquiera de las dos. ¿Cómo así? Vamos a estudiar la gramática. Let us go to the trip. Vamos a ver. Vamos a dar el viaje to the grammar structure about simple present. Y ahí es donde van a entender a qué se refiere with singular en plural. Al final vamos a regresar a esta lámina y verá usted que la va a entender much better. In these questions that we have in our book, we have the auxiliaries. We have this is auxiliary, this is auxiliary, this is auxiliary, 
this is auxiliary, this is auxiliary, and this is auxiliary. This is the verb. Verb, 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 and verb. What is an auxiliary? What is that? Okay. Okay, Jose. But but question in presence the auxiliary is do or does. Mm -hmm. But what is an auxiliary? Porque ustedes han escuchado auxiliaries aquí, auxiliaries allá, el auxiliar del presente, el auxiliar del pasado, porque se... Okay. Eh, es el que marca la pauta del tiempo gramatical que se está utilizando. Yes. Indeed, si lo decimos en una traducción ya netamente español, es la que conjuga los verbos. The auxiliary es el que va a conjugar. Veamos entonces. ¿De qué estoy hablando yo? I'm talking about this. In present simple, we use the auxiliary do or thus. Why do we have different auxiliaries? Tiene la misma función, es la misma función. Pero me está diciendo cómo se conjuga con cada pronombre. In English, it is easier than in Spanish. Because in English, solo vamos a utilizar esos dos auxiliares. But in Spanish, it is a little bit more complicated. But let us see. The simple present tense me dice que para una WH equation, esta es una WH equation, todas estas, necesito la WH y esa WH puede tomar forma de cualquiera de ellas. Esta WH can be who, when, what, where, why, how, and even I can include which. It depends of the information that I need. Si yo quiero saber un lugar, voy a decir where. If I want to know a uh, tiempo, voy a decir when. Si quiero conocer una razón, I'm going to say why. Si quiero conocer alguna manera, I'm going to say how. Si quiero saber quién es de algo, entonces voy a decir who. So, ¿de qué va a depender the WH? of the information that I need. If I follow this structure, me dice, I'm going to write down the WH, la que yo quiera y necesite, plus the auxiliary do or does, plus the subject. The subject can be I, you, he, she, it, you, we, they. And then I'm going to include plus the verb. 
any verb. Go, work, sleep, write, study, live, have, eat. Cualquier verbo que usted quiera. Entonces, voy a seguir la regla. That is the only thing that I need to follow. And then I'm going to say. Ok, dice que tengo que utilizar la WH. Ok, voy a decir where. ¿Qué busco cuando escribo where? ¿Qué información necesito? Place. place. It is a place. It is a place. Ok. Where. Después dice the auxiliary. Y el auxiliary va a depender del sujeto que yo utilice. Si yo quiero utilizar el sujeto he, ¿qué forma tomará el auxiliar? Das. 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 Ok. So I'm going to say where does después me dice utilice el pronombre como yo quiero utilizar he where does he y entonces a dónde a dónde qué acción work ok where does he work y le pongo question mark where does he work y ya tengo una pregunta Hey, where does he work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Y si quiero decirle a usted directamente, usted, ¿a dónde trabaja? Where do you work? Ajá. So I'm going to say, hey, where do you work? Question mark. Y si quiero saber a dónde trabaja su mamá. Where, where does where does your mom work? Where does she work? Pero como quería saber específicamente de your mom, por eso es que pusimos your mom. Okay, I can say, where does she work? Cuando yo ya sé que es my mom, right? But I can substitute. I can say, hey, where does your mom work? Or where does she work? But if I want to be very specific, I'm going to say, where does your mom work? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de ese auxiliar que dijimos? Conjugar el verbo. Conjugar. Entonces, si aquí me dice, hey, ¿cómo conjugo esta pregunta? ¿Qué dice esa pregunta? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Dónde? Trabajas. trabajas. ¿Por qué no me dijo dónde trabajaste? ¿Por qué no me dijo dónde trabajarás? Porque es tiempo el presente. Simple es, present. ¿Y quién le está diciendo a usted que lo conjugue en simple present? My auxiliary do. Okay. The auxiliary do. This is the auxiliary that is conjugating the verb in simple present tense. Yes. Si yo no tuviera this auxiliary, la pregunta quedaría así como normalmente hablamos. Decimos, where do you work? Where your mom work? Where she work? 
y nos omitimos el auxiliar. So we don't conjugate it in the correct way. If we write the equations like that, suena a como hablan los estadounidenses o personas extranjeras que hablan inglés to a country. Y donde nos dicen, donde to trabajar. Porque no lo están conjugando. El verbo queda así, trabajar. Donde tú trabajar. Where you work no está conjugado. Donde tú trabajar. Si yo digo where you work. But if I include the auxiliary. Oops, I erased everything here. Okay. If I include the auxiliary. So. No dice donde tú trabajar. Dice where do you work. work. Then I have to say donde trabajas. Because it is do is telling me, okay, conjugate the verb in present. But. Right? That is the main job of the auxiliary. Right? And we can use it with different subjects. I can say it. And here you have this. Thus, it is only with he, she, and it. Only. I cannot say, where does you? I cannot say, where does I? And I cannot say, where do you she? So I cannot mix them, right? I'm going to move to the next slide. That is similar to the one that we have been doing. Pero esta va de manera vertical. Vamos a ver. Al ir de manera vertical, nos va diciendo, ok, so we said that we were going to use the auxiliary do with I, you, we, they, and you. And that we are going to use the auxiliary do with he, she, and it. But now, esta pregunta está diferente a la lámina anterior. Porque la lámina anterior, what was the first word? What was the first word? WH question. WH word. WH word. But this one, we don't have the WH. No. We don't have the WH. ¿Con qué comienza esta? The auxiliary. The auxiliary, y hasta en mayúscula está. Ah, it is because that, that is the first word. What is the difference between la pregunta anterior and these ones? What is the difference? The other question um, include more information. In this case, do is a short uh, answer. Yes or no? It depends. It depends. Pay attention. If I ask, oh, si usted me pregunta a mí, um, hey, 
What do you do on Saturday? Sleep. I say on sleep. Y usted ya tiene el mensaje, right? Sleep. So, WH word, lo único que busca es information that you don't have. Yes. It is not that you, it is, lo, the answer is longer or it is shorter. No. It is that the WH equations needs information that you don't have. For example, what do you do on Sunday? What do you do on Wednesday? No sabe. No tiene ni idea. So you are looking for information. You have no idea. But on the other hand, I have, do you work on Saturday? Do you work on Saturday? The difference with this question is that in this question, you give me options. And then you say, do you work, cuando? On Saturday. Do you work on Sunday? Y solo tengo dos opciones de respuesta. I need to say yes or I need to say no. O acepto o niego lo que está diciendo. So that's why estas son conocidas como the yes no equations are the ones that we know in Spanish as Close questions in Spanish. Las preguntas cerradas. Why? Porque ya van cargadas con una opción. No es lo mismo, aunque no voy a utilizar el de auxiliar to or does, but it is not the same if I ask you, pero sí el, los dos tipos de pregunta. Si yo le pregunto a usted, Si yo le pregunto, ¿y usted es Elsa? Elsa solo va a tener dos opciones que decirme. ¿O sí yes. o no? ¿Are you Elsa? ¿Elsa? Yes, teacher. ¿Are you Elsa? Yes, I am. Ok. Ahora le pregunto a... Le pregunto a... A Rosa Esther. Rosa, Rosy. Yes. Are you Elsa? No. No. La pregunta ya va cargada. Por eso se llama pregunta cerrada. Yes, no, question. Now, I'm asking you, do you play basketball? Yes. Yes, I do. Does he play basketball? No, he doesn't. Short answers que ya tengo para estas preguntas. That is the difference that I have. WH questions and yes, no questions. They are different. So, si vemos que comienza with the auxiliary, entonces, ¿es una pregunta? ¿Abierta Close. o cerrada? Close. Close question. And if it is a, um, a WH question? Open question. That is an open question. We can call that informative question también, porque es information that you don't have. Right? Information question. I'm going to stop 
just for a while because uh, this is the first part of the attendance. Acuérdense que ayer lo hice too late. Okay, guys, vamos with the first part of the attendance, please. Encienden la camarita, please. And let's start. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Present. Alma Brenda Linieto Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña, Umaña. Present. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Gilbert, okay. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez. Present, okay, present. Jessica, ok, sí. Present, quiero. Ok. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Ok. José Roberto, pero si ¿sí es posible contestar, Remberto. Porque tiene que quedar ahí. No es posible. Teacher, just, just here. Ok, ok. Thank you. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Karina Loreni Navarro. Present. Luis, ok. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present teacher. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Yes, here. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray. Present. René Alexi eh, Caballero Amaya. Present teacher. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, gracias. Los que estén de oyente para la lista, por favor, siempre contestar de manera verbal. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. And Wilmer Alexander Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you. Ahora vamos a continuar, okay? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver dónde nos quedamos. Yeah. Okay. So we have in the previous one we have this, this, and this is another example of the yes no yes no equation. Another table in which I have the WH equation, but in this case I want to add something more. There are some equations in the we will find out, for example, after the WH question, there are some of them that they have a noun. They have a noun after the WH question. For example, me voy a mover 
to the next. For example, what department does Marta manage? This is a verb. Pero si se fijan, after the WH, ¿qué es lo que sigue? No. No todas las preguntas llevan esto. But there are some of them that we need to say what department. Y ya vamos a ver las demás si lo necesitan o no lo necesitan. Right? So, it means that we need to understand when or when not to use that extra word next to the WH word. Okay. For example, uh, I can say it also when we use what time is it? I'm not using the auxiliary to, but I'm using the verb to be that is in present simple. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time? Time is the noun. Y después de eso, sigo con la estructura. What, le sumé el time, do, you, y después le puse el verbo que quería ponerle. What time do you get up? What department do you work for? What box do you need? What box do you need? Another one that come to your mind? Osvaldo? What sport do you practice? What sport do you practice? Oops. Another one? Where place do you live? Where place do you live? No, because there is one what? question for that. What music do you listen? For that question, it is, hey, where do you live? Y con eso ya está preguntando lo que necesita. Pero no oh, lleva wow. el place, right? Pero acaban de decir una. What music do you listen? Okay. What? Music do you listen? Kind of, A kind of. music. Okay. Do, Do you listen? You listen. What kind of music do you listen? Is it kind of music? Me está diciendo the extra information, right? So you see that we can use some nouns and extra information to be like more specific. Teacher, but in, in this sentence, is the, the noun is music. It is music. Okay. The noun is music, right? 
Pero okay. como quiero en realidad ponerle qué clase, so I'm okay. going to include kind of, right? To make it more specific. But it's, it's, it's formal, but you can the informal, but only for the what? You can say what, what music, do yes. You listen? Yes, you can use it, right? Okay. So now, vamos a irnos hacia la conversación that we have. We are going backwards. And I told you that later you were going to understand much better this. Check the equation that we have here. What do you do? WH, auxiliary, subject, and yeah. verb. Hmm. What do you do? Muchos piensan que el, el verbo está repetido, but it is not. Because we have do, what do you do? It is not that we are repeating the verb. The first one is the auxiliary. Y el auxiliary simplemente me sirve para... to conjugate the verb, right? Y no necesita traducción el verbo, por el, el auxiliar. Because it just helps to conjugate the verb. Entonces ya tengo aquí the WH question y ya entendí cómo la voy a usar. And then I have another one. What does the girl over there do? I have another kind of question. It is WH, but the auxiliary now is different. Why? What is the reason for me to have auxiliary does? But it's only for the chi. chi? Because uh, si sustituimos the girl. The girl and chi. Yes. Si yo le quiero sustituir with a pronoun, I use yes. she. Yes. What does she? What does she do? Okay. Thing. What does she do? Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have for the WH questions. Now we are going to work with some sentences. In this moment, you are going to write down five WH equations. Five WH question, pero dos de estas WH questions van a escribirles con WH plus noun. WH plus noun. Con sus respuestas. Porque de las respuestas Viene la segunda parte, right? From these answers of your questions, vamos a seguir trabajando the second part of the class. And also, I want you to write down five yes-no questions. Aquí las respuestas son más fáciles. With the yes-no questions, right? So, five WH questions and five, uh, uh, five WH and five yes no question. Y dos de las WH acompañados de un noun después de la WH. Do you understand what you are doing in this moment? Yes. 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 Okay. 
Now we are going to work, let's see. Okay, teams of four or five. We're going to work for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you are going to come back and then we're <laughs> going to compare. Um, Now, I'm not going to ask you to write down any document, but I want you to discuss it with your classmates. Please, please enciendan su camera to work with your classmates, right? Okay, so let us go and work for 10 minutes. I think in 10 minutes, you can finish these exercises. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos a trabajar? Or is everything clear? ¿Se me están durmiendo? Come on. It's clear. Pick up. Okay. Okay. So, let us go and work. Para que se despierten. Ya hablé mucho. Okay. Go and work. Good. Yes. Hello. Solo una pregunta. Fíjese que cada vez que se me pasa lista dice Kevin. Y es Kevin. En vez de V va una R. Ok. ¿Me lo recuerda bien por qué? Este, ¿Para poderlo corregir o es que yo lo estoy leyendo mal? ¿Ok? Oh, okay. Sí, se lo hago okay. saber porque es, es que se me meten el mismo error. Entonces... Para el final, esto lo recordarle que es con R, no con, no con V. Sí, por eso le digo, cuando le pase lista, me recuerda. Eso. O ¿Okay? al final, porque en la no, lista... No, en el momento, en el momento, porque okay, así okay, lo voy okay. a, a corregir en the right moment. Ok, ok. Y okay. es Thank que you. el problema Thank es you. en la lista, pero si es en mis ojitos que no veo bien, ahí le voy a decir ah. también. <ríe> ok. Ok, ok. Thank you. Ok, anytime. No sé. Podemos, uh, podemos tomarlas como ejemplo esas y, y trabajarlas. No sé si tienen esas. Les comparto si quieren. Se puede. Hola, hola. No sé si me puede agregar a otro grupo que creo que estaba con un oyente en la sala 1. Voy a revisar eso Gracias. en este momento, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, déjeme ver. Maximilian, ¿ustedes? Sí, me eh, colocó un Mateo. mensaje en el grupo que está con problemas de la garganta. ¿Quién? Maximiliano. Ok, ahorita se acaba de integrar René. A esa misma sala. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. muy clear. Ok, ok.
contestar dos. ¿Mm? Hay que contestar dos. Vale, la primera, what kind of fruit do you like? Este, I, I, I like, I like the manzana, naranja. Apple. Apple in, in your case, okay. mango. Okay. Where okay. place do you live? I live in Miramonte o Toluca, in my case. No, esa no se la acepté. Okay. No podemos decir what place do you live. Porque para eso está where do you live. Where, Where do, do you, you live? live? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes. Okay. Where do you live? Yes. Okay. Okay, estamos perfect. Finish. Okay. No, no han terminado porque les quité esa. Necesitan no, otra but, con un noun. Only six. Seven. What do you study? Where do you work? Why do you work? No, no los hace falta. No los hace falta las cinco. Eh, en las doble H questions. Son cinco doble H questions. Dos de ellas con doble H plus noun. Y cinco yes no questions. Yes no questions. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. What food do you like to cook? Esa es qué comida te gusta cocinar. Ajá. Para, para que suene como más larguita la oración. Ok, ahí va. Y ahora la respuesta. Ay. No, sí, porque es primera pregunta. Ay, cook de pizza. No, muy corto. Mm. I like to cook. Está bien, me... Quizá para hacerla más larga. I like. I like. So what kind? Pizza. What kind of food? ¿Qué tipo de comida te gusta cocinar? Podría ser. Repítalo, no lo escuché. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Logró hablar con alguien, Mateo? No, creo que los tres son oyentes. No, René Alexi no ha entrado como oyente. 
Ay, señor. Bueno, pero ya hizo sus, sus preguntas. En eso soy ahorita, eran cinco de Ash y diez de la otra, de Yes no. More. Cinco, yes, no question. Ah, ok. Y dijo que de esas necesitaba dos que llevaran nombre, ¿verdad? El, a la par del WH, yes. Ok. Ok, listo. En sorry, porque le tocó solo aparentemente, ok. Ok. No, le tocó en grupo aparentemente, <ríe> but reality different, ok. De acuerdo. Para... Ah, ya estuvo. Bueno, qué rápido. No, todavía no. No, está... No, no oyente, la nos está espiando la ticha. <risa> eh, do you like pizza? Eh, Siempre das... me <risa> No sirve el camuflaje. Das... Das... Uh -huh. y... Le, sí. le... Dash, así como a ella le gusta espiar, le gusta a ella espiar. ¿Cómo se dice espiar en, en inglés? Spy. Spy, ahorita. <ríe> no se vale. <ríe> spy. Do you... Pero sería de una sola vez spy. Sí, así. Dash, spy. Mm. O sería agregarle like. Dash, like, spy. To spy. Le gusta a, a ella le gusta espiar o se yes, espía. She does. <ríe> ah, pues sí, está bien. <ríe> Otra, colegas. Does he room in the park? Alguien la está anotando, va por ahí. Porque si se me llega a borrar, fracaso. Sí. Das Hero. Pero de esas cortas, yo no las veo tan cortas para ser un ex. <risa> Aunque ahí la respuesta es la, la... La corta. La corta. Por ejemplo, esa de es, le gusta el correr en el parque. Yes, sería yes. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, yes, I yes. He... he does. Yes. ¿Cuántas tenemos? Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, Creo ocho, que ya nueve. Las cinco. Diez tenemos.
Okay, be ready, please. We're coming back.
No le escuchamos. Pensé que solo yo era. Y hasta este momento me están diciendo, muchachos. Y yo hice todas las observaciones en la pizarra y nadie me dijo nada. Pensé que no estaba dando espacio para que la copiara. Bueno, yo... <risa> Hice todas las correcciones. Lo mismo que pensé. Hice no mil. Estaba ordenando. Hice mil correcciones. Pero mil correcciones. Y tenía hasta la cámara apagada yo. Y yo enfocada en todos los errores de la pizarra. Vamos a ver si todavía se mantiene la pizarrita ahí. Ahí está todavía. Oh, my God. Y sí, hice correcciones. Y yo decía, y no me dicen nada, y yo va de corregir, y no corrigen. <risa> ¡Ay, señor! Ok, voy a hacer todo el review nuevamente, ¿ok? Vean las que voy tomando. Ya nadie escriba. Nadie más escriba. Para que identifiquen los, las correcciones que debemos hacer. Los que escribieron, <ríe> qué rato está. <ríe> Ay, señor. Ok. Están presentes los que escribieron. What do you from? What do you live? What do you play? What do you drive? What do you travel? ¿Están presentes? Porque si no, ¿para qué hago las correcciones si no están? Yo, teacher. Ok. Entonces, cuando escogemos una WH, la WH es la que me va a dar lo, la información que yo necesito. Por ejemplo, si yo digo where, ¿qué ando buscando yo? ¿Dónde? Busco un lugar. Un lugar. ¿Ok? Entonces, las dos primeras preguntas buscan un lugar, pero me escriben what. ¿Por qué escriben what si lo que buscan es un lugar? Where El do you want? es where. Pero aún poniéndole where, la primera pregunta no está correcta. Porque no hay un verbo. What do you? Y después del you viene el verbo. No hay verbo ahí. What do you from? From no es verbo. ¿Ok? Así que solo la primera y la segunda... Ah, necesitan corrección. Voy a agarrar otro. ¿Pueden ver el que tengo marcado? Yes. Ok. Yes. Where does she like to travel? Where do you go to the market? Who does make the dinner? Ya nadie me escribe, por favor. Ahorita ya todos tienen que ser oyentes, ¿ok? Nadie más escribe, porque me van a mover todo lo de la pizarra, ¿ok? Where does she like to travel? Ahí estamos bien, aunque no me escribieron respuestas, no veo a nadie. When do you go to the market? Ahí estamos bien. Who does make the dinner? Acá les decía que esa pregunta conlleva otro tipo de, de estructura que es la siguiente. Who makes the dinner? Se sale del patrón porque eh, a quien buscamos es a la persona que hace la acción. Entonces dice, who makes the dinner? Luego dice, what hurts do you prefer? Ahí estamos bien. Which signatura does the professor Teach. Which subject? Esa es la palabra apropiada. 
which subject does the professor teach? Do you like the chocolate? Does she study now? No, she doesn't. De ahí todas las demás están bien. <clears throat> La única observación era para él, <clears throat> el who. ¿Tomaron nota, chicos? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher, thank you. Ok, voy con el siguiente. Teacher. Yes. Siempre para... ¿En específico para eso o, o es para el who? Eh, hay para el who, hay dos formas de utilizarla. Se puede utilizar con auxiliar o sin auxiliar. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Por ejemplo, es sin el auxiliar es cuando busco directamente a la persona de la acción. Y con auxiliar es cuando le pregunto a alguien sobre la acción. Por ejemplo, who do you live with? Si se fija, hay una diferencia. Le estoy preguntando a alguien, ¿con quién vives tú? Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. do you live with? Pero la otra pregunta es, no le pregunto a nadie. No era esta, era esta. Sino que quiero saber quién hace la acción. Entonces digo, who makes the dinner? A nadie le estoy preguntando directamente, sino que quiero saber quién es. Por eso no lleva auxiliar ahí. Okay. Son dos preguntas con who, pero una lleva auxiliar y la otra no. Ok, so, who do you live with? Ahí estamos bien. What kind of food do you like to cook? That's good. Who, why do you sleep early? Good. When do you have your swimming lesson? Yes. How many rooms does your house have? Estamos bien. Ahí no hay ninguna corrección. Tenemos las dos con el now. That is correct. Now I'm going to check this. When do you go to the market? When does she like? No lleva ese. Where does she like to travel? ¿Por qué no lleva ese? Ya lo tiene el auxiliar. Because the auxiliary has it. Where does she like to travel? Who does make the dinner? Aquí es lo mismo, la misma observación que haya. Teacher, no lleva... perdón, es que es eh, el mismo grupo con Elsa. Ah. Entonces, no me percaté que ella también estaba escribiendo, pero pensé que estábamos en la misma cajita de texto, pero al final no. Entonces, ah. es la misma. It is the same. Ok, ok, yes. vamos. Ok. Va, entonces, ya está esta, ya está esta, ya está esta. Y ya está esta. Y vamos a ver esta. Ok, vamos con esta. What do you favorite color? Si vamos a hablar de favorite, díganmelo en español, por favor. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? ¿Puedes repetirlo, pero despacito? ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? ¿Cuál es el verbo que ha utilizado? En español. Bueno, no es mío. ¿Cómo? Eso no es el mío. Color. Ok. No, ¿cuál es el verbo? Ok, ok, Osvaldo, entiendo el punto. Pero, ¿cuál fue el verbo que me acaba de utilizar en español? Es. El verbo to be. Uh -huh. Pero, en this one, aquí, ¿A dónde está el verbo? Está la WH, auxiliary, subject. ¿A dónde está el verbo? What do you favorite color? Mm. ¿O cambia el final? Right? Porque no tengo verbo. O la pregunta correcta debería decir 
what is your favorite color? Pero si uso el is, no puedo utilizar el auxiliar to. Entonces, o es una o es la otra. Por lo tanto, la primera necesitamos revisarla. Then, number two. What department? Aquí tenemos el noun. What department? Ahí estamos bien. Do you cleaner? ¿Cuál es el verbo, chicos? Lim, lim, limpiar. Lim. ¿Y cómo se lim. deletrea el verbo limpiar? In English. E-L-A Planner E-L-A-E-A-N-E-R -E -E um. Okay, equipo, ayúdele a Mouses. <laughs> Clean. Clean? Okay. Es clean. Así es el verbo. Usted me le agrega ER. ER lo convierte en una persona que hace eso. Pero el verbo es clean. So, what department do you clean? Ahí estamos bien. Does she like to spy? Yes, she does. Does he run in the park? What do you think about this food? ¿Ok? De ahí están bien las preguntas. ¿Ok? Solamente esta observación. Good. Thank ¿Ok? You. Está revisada. Y ya no encuentro más, ¿verdad? Ah, como no, aquí abajo hay, aquí está la del McDonald's, que yo voy a decirles, ¿quién escribió la del McDonald's? ¿Quién escribió la del McDonald's? Y nadie me contestaba, porque nadie me oía. Fui yo. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver, con el McDonald's. Lo mismo que sucede con la del Favorite Color, Sucede aquí. Analicemos. WH. <coughs> auxiliary. Subject. Y un tal verbo. Sí, sí. Toda la razón. <laughs> ok, we don't have verb. Where do McDonald's what? No, no tiene verbo. So... We need to improve this. How does this work? ¿Qué es this? Eso era como... La pregunta en español era como, ¿cómo funciona? ¿El qué? Eso, cualquier cosa. Imagínense ustedes, cualquier cosa. <risa> Ahora póngale nombre a ese cualquier cosa, por favor. Uh, TV. Ah, ok. How does the TV work? Ok, now it's different. Right? Ok, who said teacher? Yo es que le okay. iba a decir que Elsa. Ajá. Cuando decimos cómo funciona eso y señalamos con la boca. Uh, yes. How does it work? Yeah. Pero cuando estamos escribiendo, sí necesitamos eh, ser muy específicos, right? Dicho, okay. Pero esa oración sí funcionaría, solo hablándolo sí, uno. Sí funcionaría ya dentro de una conversación donde la otra persona ya sabe que usted está hablando o de la televisión, o del celular, o de la radio, o de cualquier cosa que ustedes estén hablando, usted le dice, hey, how does this work? Porque ya saben, pero en una oración sin contexto, no es saludable escribirla. Right? Then, teacher, how does, uh -huh. teacher, the people in other countries, for example, in Guatemala, yes. uh, the Salvadorian, nos conocen por el volado. Yes. Yes, <laughs> bueno, nosotros decimos el volado. Y lo que está diciendo los compañeros, eso es como que digamos ese volado o el volado. Yes. Es, 
pero igual no solamente sucede en español, o sea, aquí, Salvadoran people. Se ve ha ido la palabra para en inglés, hay una que utilizan para decir exactamente como nosotros decimos, pero es una palabra bastante amplia y algo rara, se me ha olvidado cómo se dice en inglés para referirse okay. a, a siempre a ese volado. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, vamos a <laughs> number three. Bless you. Why does she look so sad? Okay. How much does the ticket cost? When do you want to meet me? Oh, excuse me. Do I have to register? El que? A saber. Eh? Does Elia play the piano? Does that know the address? Does it work? Again, does it work? A saber que es. Okay. Does he live here? Estamos bien. Solamente hay que definir ese it y ese this. Okay. Or the rest, no problem. Ok, y creo que son todos, ¿verdad? Ando en busca de algún perdido, pero I don't think that we have more. Ok, guys. Ok, entonces vuelvo a cerrar la pizarra. And now we're going back. Y eso ya no nos va a dar tiempo a a la última actividad, pero mañana la haremos con seguridad cuando comencemos, ¿ok? Porque quiero aclarar ciertas cositas. Ok, when we are in the simple present tense, no vi respuestas, ¿se recuerdan que les pedí respuestas? Pero no vi respuestas. Yes. Ok, but We have we have worked with the WH equations and also with the yes no equations. Y aquí tenemos examples. Las respuestas de las WH equations me llevan a poder utilizar este tipo de estructura. It can be affirmative statements or negative statements. For example, Right? I can say, hey, where do you study English? I study English. English Corporation. At. I study English, but at. I study opportunity. English at. Okay. Best opportunity. But, but no, but you're saying where. Where. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay? Uh, where. A. So okay. I need to give a place, right? Oh, okay. I study English at. Esta respuesta takes the structure of affirmative statement. I, subject, study, <laughs> verb, And the complement. I study English at. Y le doy el lugar. That is the reason why it was important for me to get the answers. Porque las respuestas es lo importante para lo que tenemos in the book. Okay. This is the next exercise. That is the reason for me to have the answers. But let's see. For the WH questions, I have my question here, and this is the answer. What department? Thus, Marta, manage. Aquí ya me da el verbo, vea. ¿Por qué puse what department? 
because in the answer me dice, Marta manages the sales department. Entonces me está preguntando qué departamento, right? So yes. I need, I need the WH plus noun. Ahora, number two. Se parece mucho a la primera, right? Aquí yes. me está diciendo, I supervise the maintenance department. Y el verbo a utilizar sería supervise. La respuesta me da la idea de la pregunta that I have to write. Let us do the first, the second question. Tomemos la primera como ejemplo. Okay. Okay. Can we yes. try? Let us try. What? What department? What department? department? What department? Department. Do you, uh -huh. do you supervise? Do you supervise? supervise. ¿Por qué supervise? Porque ahí me dice que utilice supervise. Yes, I, in parentheses. I have, I have no option. Yes. Entonces dice, what department do you supervise? Ah, me faltó la, la question mark, ¿ok? Do you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Okay. Now let us complete exercise three. Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. What's the meaning of overseas? Overseas. Yes. I have another example. It says, what unit do you oversee? Hmm. What unit do you oversee? Remember that we are talking about managers, supervisors, uh, all the ones that manage the factory or the company. What do we understand by oversee? No, I don't understand. Sorry no. about, I don't mean to overseas, what is? Okay. Please, did you help me, please? <laughs> but I'm not going in to the, translate. Sorry? In this case is, um, Come on, visit. Don't say it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, in Spanish, no. No. <laughs> now, you try Visit it. the place, the, the, mm -hmm. the old place, visit, Claudio. Uh-huh. Some places, you know. Okay, what is branch? Do you remember what is the meaning of branch? Yes. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Branch is about, in Spanish, sucursales. Okay, so yes. Claudio, Claudio needs to to check yes. different branches. Okay. What branch Claudio needs to check? Okay. okay. I'm not going to tell you in Spanish, but it is similar, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, okay. I know. Okay. Okay, now let's see what is the equation for this. But now pay attention, pay attention in this, please. In the answer of number one, in number two, they say the maintenance department, the department, but now it says the branch in Ilopango. Que busco? Lugar. The place, yes. place. Yes. so my WH is going to be where? 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 Okay. where? Good. So let us try. Let us where? try. Where? Where? Overseas. Where? Where? Overseas. Overseas. Where? 
pero es sí, que lo pago. Branch. No. No, 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 no. Where does the branch? Where? Where's the does? Where does Claudio oversee? Yes. Yes, you're right. Where does Claudio oversee? In Iropango, yeah. Maybe. Where does Claudio oversee? The, the branch. branch. Okay. Okay. The branch. And we have another option. If we see it like this, we have another option. But this is one of them. Okay. What is the other option? Let us do it. Let us do it. Where does Claudio <laughs> oversee the branch? Ah, uh, Claudio yes. oversees the branch in Ilopango. But okay. also we can say, podemos utilizar WH, WH, Plus noun. Okay, thank you. What? What? What else? The branch. What? The branch. Or what branch? Aha. Uh -huh. Así branch? como, uh -huh. yes. Así como el departamento yes. puede utilizarlo. Yes. Well, what branch? Claudia oversee. Auxiliary? Das. Okay, okay. What branch does, das does Claudia oversee? Ah, uh, Claudia oversees the branch in Ilopango, right? Okay. We have two different options. Thank you, teacher. Okay. In the homework assignment. Five and six. Yes? Okay. Yes, that is for tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, attendance, attendance, guys, attendance. I'm going to stop here. And here we go again. Okay, vamos. Oops. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalini Nieto. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Okay. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present. Ay, señor, me van a regañar. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here, teacher. Okay, Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Oh my God. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Eh, okay. ¿sí puede ver. Mi sí, dice Kevin Kevin. Ok, Pero entonces sí. En este right moment se lo voy a cambiar. No eran mis ojitos, ¿ok? Excelente. Ok, Katie. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. Ok, Kerin. Lucía, Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present, teacher. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present, teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. 
René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Niña, Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. En Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Ok, guys. Eh, a mí no me mencionó, teacher. Ah, ah José Roberto. No, yeah. no me mencionó. Y a mí me mencionó, teacher. No, no escuché. Ah, quizá. Sí lo mencioné. Roberto, ¿cuál es su apellido? Revelo. No, 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 pero es que están por nombres, déjeme ver. Casi siempre voy después de Roberto. Sí, José Roberto ah. Revelo Calderón. Sí. <risa> ¿Y a quién más no mencioné? Gilberto. Gilberto, Gilberto. ¿cómo no Gilberto? Sí, sí lo mencioné. Uh, ok, ok. As they present. So, Now yeah. you are there. <laughs> I am here. Ok, guys. So that's all for this class. Thank you very much for participating. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Ah, oh, good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.